Welcome back. All right, so if you haven't seen the previous parts, please see the parts, the other parts in this series. Okay, so last time we looked at uh, these styles here that we added. Now, if there's any style that you don't understand here, please just copy it, paste it in Google, and Google will give you more information on how that particular style is used and what are styles in the first place. Okay, then we move on. Now, if you've noticed here, as we add more styles, now imagine if there's the 100 styles that we have to add here, this is getting very, very long. So there's another way to actually uh, create styles. Now this other way is actually better and it's called CSS. So what we've been learning so far is HTML. Now to use this other method of styling, we are going to uh, jump over to what is called CSS cascading style sheets okay now in order to create we're simply moving we're simply moving these styles to another location so that we leave space to display actual data here instead of having styles in the same place as well so let's go up here before the body tag here between the body and the head let's put another tag called style okay you don't need to type this part, that's fine. Let me just remove that. It's unnecessary these days. So now as you can see, I've created another tag called style. So now I can move all the styles for these items uh, into there. Now the, the, the advantage of doing this is that, let's imagine I had a hundred of these divs and I want them to look exactly the same. I would need to type in styles for each and every div uh, as they are going down here. Now, it's okay for one or two divs, but when you have a hundred divs, that becomes a big problem because you have a lot of repeated information. So to avoid that, we'll use this new method. If you don't get it at first, that's fine. Just watch the video again until you actually get it. And it's very important that while I'm doing this, you're also actually typing on your computer because with practice, that's how you actually get the information to stick in your head. All right, so in order for us to move the styles here, we're simply going to get all these styles from there. Now, okay, before we move the styles, let's do this. Let's give this div an ID because we want a way to be able to know. It's like we're giving it a name so we can call it later. So I'm going to give it an ID and say ID is equal to now this ID, you can add any word that you want here. That's up to you. So I, I call this one blue. Oh, let me just call it bar, something simple like that. So I'm going to call it a bar. So this is the ID. So if I go to styles here, I can tell styles that I want to create styles for the, the item with an ID of bar, like that. Now, before the name, we have to put a hash like so because to tell it this hash tells the browser that this name is actually an id of one of the items in the website then we put a curly bracket like that open and close curly bracket and then we get all these uh, styles that we've put here cut them and then we put them in there like this okay then we can remove this part called styles here because we don't need it anymore. Now, if I go back to my website and refresh, you see that nothing has changed because this acts exactly like what was here. Now, if I write a wrong name here by mistake like this and go back, you see that all the styles disappear because the website can't find this ID. So you have to make sure that the what, what you type here is exactly the same ID as down there, okay? Now, the advantage of doing this is because if there were many of these divs, all I have to do in order to give them exactly this styling is to just give them the same ID as this div. So let me copy two divs here. Let me do this. Make two divs here and just give them the same name bar bar. And when I refresh now, you see now that there, there's two of the same thing styled exactly the same. So this is why this method is better because I don't have to retype my styles for another item. 
So the, this is called CSS. Okay. So if there's anything you don't really understand in here, just Google it and you get more information or you can rewatch the video again. All right. So what we've done here is simply introduced CSS into the mix. Now, please note that the empty space in here is not important. So I can easily do this and go to the uh, edges of these tiles like that, where there's a semicolon and do this and do that. So this, as you can see, is more readable. It's user friendly because right here I can see how many styles are there and which styles are actually there. And I can disable any of these one at a time if I want to. So this is exactly as it was if I save this and refresh, you see that nothing has actually changed because it's still working. So as you can see, this is a much better way of adding styles. Now, as we add more items, we're going to add more styles here with different names, maybe bar two like this, and then we put some more styles in there and so on. So this will be the section for putting styles. Okay, so let me close that. And that's the end of this particular lesson and meet me in the next one.